sa mga nagsusot ng makeup, I bet, hassle na hassle tayo sa masks, di ba? But at the same time, this ultimately saves us from the virus. And I do believe na talagang, you know, we should wear masks. Ito yung usually kong ginagawa. This is basically my routine if I want my makeup to stay in place. Pero disclaimer lang, I feel like there's no such thing as 100% transfer proof because that would be so uncomfortable. Pero, I've tested this routine nung nagpagawa ako or nagparinyo ako ng passport and I have to say, pakak ang aking mask and wala siya masyadong lines which is, for me, yun yung pinaka problema sa pagsusukot ng mask. Yun nagbamaragay mask. First things first, hawiin nyo lang muna yung book nyo. Importante kasi ito na walang obstruction ang inyong uh, pagme-makeup dahil medyo kaka... Kano ko ba-explain to? <laughs> Basta meron siya certain techniques na gusto ko maaliwala sa yung mukha ko para ma-achieve nyo talaga to. So may bagong primers sa Makeup Forever and dito ako nakakita ng um, talagang may shine control or matte primer. Ito yung pinakabagong primers ng Makeup Forever. Itong um, shine control at saka itong pore minimizer. Yung shine control, ilalagay ko lang siya on areas. Uh, specifically na gusto kong makapag-control ng shine in short. So, ganyan yung texture niya, guys. Hindi siya at all yung shine control na parang very silicone -y. This is actually a creamy, parang, it feels moisturizing. O, di ba, kakasabi ko lang na on parts na kailangan natin shine control. Pero bilang na parami, ang nailagay ko, nilalagay ko na siya sa buong mukha ko. <laughs> ha! Huh. May hiwagang nangyayari sa primer na to. It felt very creamy or jelly at first. And now, para siyang may coat na parang matte. Nakikita mo ba? Para siyang nag-evaporate sa face. This is amazing. Wait lang. Okay. I see you makeup forever. So I will set my face dahil gusto kong hindi siya like totally dry in that sense. And the hydration is key talaga sa makeup na ganito. Habang sineset natin yung makeup fixer sa mukha, ang gagamitin ko, itong puff, my trusty puffs, gamit na gamit siya. And ito naman yung medyo itadampen ko with the makeup setter. Ang makeup setter na lagi kong gamit ngayon yung From So Natural because ito yung nakikita kong nag-work ngayon sa akin. And now, this is key. Itong foundation na to, yung alam kong talagang tumidikit sa mukha and I think by this time, alam nyo na this is my holy grail. So this is the self-coding foundation that I super love. Guys, good news to. Sa lahat na naghintay na mag-restock mag ako, restock na siya sa aking karis. And of course, as usual, magpapaulan na naman tayo ng freebies. So go ahead, I will be placing the link on the description box below. Makikita nyo talaga yung power ng foundation na to kasi meron akong zit. So I am mixing the shades tan at saka medium. Pero yan, sinisimulan ko muna on the center of my face. Kita niyo yun? Magic! Yung natatakpan siya agad ng ano, ng foundation. Start with the lightest layer. So, bakit ba puff or sponge ang aking ma-recommend? That's because ito yung mas nagpipress ng product sa bala. Sobrang nice, guys. This is why it's my holy grail. Marami na akong nakikita, even makeup, celebrity makeup artists na nabudol ko with this foundation. Ang sabi nila, Rai, totoo ang chika. Next is setting with powder. You have to set your face with powder na less ang um, tint or pigment. So, wag yung mga pressed powder na may kulay siya masyado because mas may tendency mag-oil up yun ang mabilis. So, kung pipili man kayo ng may tint, yung sobrang konti lang or as much as possible, yung wala na lang at all. Usually, ang gamit ko ngayon ay itong Super Face, itong um, Magic Filter Finishing Powder because ito yung ginamit ko nung nagpagawa ako ng passport. But also, I can recommend yung uh, Perfect Diary Cinema Roll kasi ito yung walang kulay. I bake, but I don't... Para ko explain yun? Hindi. Siguro hindi bake in term. It's more of setting my face with powder, but a little bit more excessively than my usual setting of powder, if you know what I mean. Talagang sa akin, ha, based on experience, kapag sineset ko yung face ko with pressed powder na talagang matint, oil na yun. Like, minsan yung mga, um, yung mga Maybelline powder sa akin, ayan. Mag-oil up yan after ilang hours. So now, magkikilay lang tayo as usual using the K-Palette one. So dito sa step na to, 
Kaya na rin bahala kung ano yung usual yung ginagawa. Pwede naman. Kasi again, hindi naman ito masyadong affected. And then I just set my brows with this MAC uh, Fiber Gel. Yung big boost nila because ito yung ginagamit ko para mas full. Saka feathery yung brows. Healthier. Better and stronger. Just. And then sa eyes, usually hindi na ako, you know, nag eyeshadow Pero ako, of course, kung mag-eyeshadow kayo, go ahead. Eyeliner lang muna ako. Itong Mersey Gel Liner, which is what I always use. At saka itong Ani na brown liners. So, unahin ko muna itong Ani. Or sige, unahin ko muna itong Mersey. Sa mga nag-request pala na mag-zoom yung camera, kasi ito na yung pinaka-zoom. Susubukan namin yung pinaka-zoom, ha? Hanggang doon lang talaga. Hanggang dyan. Ayun, guys, sorry. So, hanggang dyan lang kasi talaga yung zoom namin or else hindi na siya magpo-focus ng maayos. And then, as usual then feel free na maglagay ng false eyelashes if you wish. Pagdating sa blush, importante din na powder siya. So this time, ang gagamitin ko itong Anastasia Beverly Hills, itong kanilang blush trio, dahil aliw ang shades niya. Like, super nice. May peachy shade, merong baby pink, and also may darker pink. So what I usually do is I mix itong peachy shade at itong baby pink shades, itong dalawa. Since nga ang blush, may pigment siya, so ito, talagang madalas magta-transfer to. So what I do is, inaangat ko siya. Hindi ko siya nilalagay sa baba, yung dito siya. At saka para, nagpipeak through pa rin yung blush, kahit na merong mask. Sa totoong buhay, hindi yun yung dahilan. <laughs> Kung bakit ako. Pero, it makes sense din, di ba? Na ipakita nyo rin yung blush nyo kahit naka-mask. Next is, seal lang muna natin siya with a setting spray. Patayin lang natin siya. Habang ginagawa natin to, pwede na tayong dumako sa labi. I will be using, usually, nagli-liquid lipstick ako. Yun talaga yun mas maganda. Pero let's say, meron kayong lipstick, ang gamit ko itong detail, powder, powder, and rise akong tawi. Nagli-lipstick muna ako. Doon tayo, doon tayo sa blotting technique. So, lipstick. Blot. And then now, ito ang special technique. Facial tissue. This is very important. <laughs> One layer of tissue. Okay, then you lang siya. Go for the powder and then just blot it. So, bakit may layering siya ng setting spray and then powder? That's because I don't want the powder to slide off. So, binabasa ko siya ulit or siniset ko siya ulit with the makeup fixer para mag uh, kumapit siya sa balat and then tsaka ko siya nililayer ulit ng powder para Kasi kung masyado siyang dry and then dry ulit, then magsaslide off lang agad yung product. But if you set it with something wet and then i-set mo ulit with powder, then mas nag-hold lang sila all together. Kung baga sa cemento, mas nagbabind lang sila. Imagine yung cement, kapag nilagay mo siya sa dry something, pag ginan-ganan mo siya, walang effect, ba? Pero pag binasa mo siya, mas kumakapit siya. So that's the same mentality. Now, this is all done. Same goes kung gusto nyo mag-highlighter. Since nag-powder na ako, what I will do is, again, I will lightly set my face with mixer. Bawat patong ko ng dry um, product, isa-set ko siya lightly with this fixer. The good thing about this fixer is that mist, yung mist niya fine, so hindi siya totally nakakabasa ng mukha. And then, ang technique lang, kung gusto nyo talagang mas fine pa, ilayin nyo lang ng konti yung mixer. And then, what I will... Mixer? Fixer pala. Naging cemento na talaga ang terminology ko. Fixer. And then, let's go for the highlighter, which is this one. Ito yung like kong ginagamit kasi ito yung available sa akin niya. Dry highlighter na nice talaga yung parang skin lang. There you go. Just blot ang konti. And now, moment of truth. So, gagamitin ko itong regular mask. Malinis yan, guys. There, there you go. Yan, ganyan, ganyan na lang. Yan, there you go. So, ang gagawin ko is, isasakot ko lang to. So, ganyan. And then, kahit na, uy! Chika-chika. Mmm! Dahan-dahan lang. Wala pa din siya. Transfer sis. <laughs> Wait lang. I am so amazed. <laughs> and guys, kahit tignan yung makeup, nandiyan yung soft highlights, nandiyan yung kulay ng blush, nandiyan yung lipstick. Without transferring. Tissue. Mm. See? 
I mastered this one. I'm so proud. May mga different mask, just so I can show you guys. Ha. May mga iba-ibang mask na kasi na available sa market. Merong origami mask. Yung sa akin, pag suot ko yun, mas hindi siya tumatama sa ilong, sa bibig. Kasi itong mask na to, talagang tumatama siya sa pisngi, sa ilong, sa bibig minsan. So, itong mask na to, mas may tendency pa to mag-transfer. Pero sa nakikita nyo, talagang hindi pa siya nag totally, totally nag-transfer. But I just want to point it out na hindi to totally 100% na transfer proof. May possibility pa rin. It depends sa body chemistry nyo or depends kung gaano kayo magpapawis. But at least itong tekniko na to, sana makatulong to lessen yung pagta-transfer. So in my case, kahit ayan, gumaganan siya sa, sa labi, pakita ko sa inyo na ayan o, oh, hindi madungis ang mask. Diba? And ito talagang tekniko na to, <laughs> Minaster ko eh. Para, para walang guhit sa ganun eh. But then again, iba-iba pa rin yan. But hopefully, itong foundation, yung key sa akin, just to recap, yung key products, yung foundation, yung primer then right now, na-discover ko, it makes a huge difference. But definitely, the foundation and the way you powder and the way you layer your um, setting spray and the blotting technique. So yun. Because other than that, kahit ano namang makeup pag gamitin niyo that's totally fine kahit hindi liquid lipstick sa pinakita ko sa inyo you can still work it out I hope you guys enjoyed my mask friendly makeup tutorial and yung mga products ilalagay ko on the description box below pati yung promo pina-extend ko this Saturday March 20th so you can grab the freebies na bet ninyo or yung pamigay naming freebies ayan hanggang Saturday and March 20 and all the products that I've mentioned and I've used nasa description box ulit yan Thank you guys so much and enjoy again yung makeup ninyo na hindi nang gigitata under mask. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye!